Nigeria is preparing for the 2023 general election. We have 18 presidential candidates and INEC has set a deadline of June 17 for the uploading of names and affidavits on his nomination portal. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has also announced the relevant conditions and guidelines. All political parties are required to submit their list of candidates for national elections, presidential and vice presidential candidates, as well as senatorial and House of Representatives candidates, latest by Friday, 17th June 2022. For state elections, that is governorship and deputy governorship and state assembly candidates, the list shall be uploaded from 1st to 15th July 2022, as already provided in the timetable and schedule of activities for the 2023 general election released by the Commission. While parties like the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APUGA, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and a few others have announced their presidential running mate, quite a good number of other political parties have not announced theirs as at the time of this report. Given the nature, structure, and circumstances of the Nigerian politics, the 2023 process has already been reduced to a three horse race between the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the All Ruling Progressive Congress, APC, and the Labour Party. But as the parties search for their running mate, what should be the criteria? Who really deserve, who are the heirs of the party, the people that are supposed to be the takeover people? You understand? I'm not saying it because I'm from the West. I'm saying it because. Let what has to be done be done. Because now it is there for the party to decide who among the contestants to, that will lead uh, the country. Nigeria is in a difficult place, confronted with all kinds of challenges that must be addressed. From high level of insecurity to poverty, high level of unemployment, to mention but a few. But what is even the role of the vice president? The Nigerian vice president is a creation of section 141 of the 1999 constitution. He is a member of the executive council of the federation and also the chairman of the national economic council among others. His real and relative power however depends upon the duties delegated to him by the president who within the purview of section 5 of the 1999 constitution is the king. So Nigerians have been speaking with us on their expectation as the issue is concerned. We, you and I know very well that the, the, there is no security anywhere in the country. When you look at all those the recent, uh, recently happened in our world, you should know that there is no security at all. Are you telling me that there is no presence of the, the military, the armed forces, the army, the navy and the air force in all those states? particularly over where the governor of Bo Bo State came from at you should understand that all these things they are doing, there is another thing. I believe them that they are thinking that they are secured because they have soldiers, they have police that are guarding them, guarding their children. They will not be able to enjoy those things if they allow such things, such killings to continue in Nigeria. Nigerians want change, but not just change from personalities but from the worsening of the Nigerian condition. The question now is, where would we be after 2023 election? From 7TV, I am Austin Beatrice.